Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome to my 31 day holiday workout challenge, day 14. Today's workout is a 50 minute no repeats workout. This is a total body workout where you only have to power through each exercise once. We'll be using mostly dumbbells for resistance and to build some serious strength. Body weight is optional for many of the exercises. We'll begin with unilateral, that's single arm or single leg exercises for balance, strength, and core work. We'll build on from there. Grab those weights, click play, follow along, let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, welcome back. Today I have a favorite for everyone. It's a no repeat workout, plus it's our day to work out just a little bit longer. So we're gonna be here about 50 minutes. I do have a little bit longer stretch time as well. So we'll cool down and enjoy that part as well. All right, so to get started, I have five, I have a lot, a lot of weights, okay? So get out your weights, a variety of fives, eights, tens, fifteens, and twenties. So light to that medium weight today. We're gonna work under um, for one minute intervals, 40 second intervals for our cardio. I have a few cardio pieces put in, just about four or five of them, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and warm up real quick. Let's do some circles here with our arms. We're just gonna move through our joints here, opening up, loosening up, and then I kind of you know me, I like to gradually build in. So we will start from the floor. We'll start with core work, activation into the core. We'll work on balance. And then we'll kind of work our smaller muscles, triceps, biceps, arms, and then we'll get into the big stuff because we're only re uh, doing each one of these one time. So I kind of like to start that way and build as we go. So I hope you like this workout. If you do, please remember to always give us that thumbs up. That helps us. Tell a friend, pass it along, subscribe. All those things keep these videos coming to you. Good job, let's go swing across the body. I like to balance here. Wrap that foot around the body just so that you have to kind of tighten up the core here and find your balance. If the balance isn't there, don't, don't worry about it. Just grab onto a couch, a wall, whatever you have there to hold you up. So let's go three more, three, two, and one. Good, other side across the body. There you go wrapping it around just a bit. Still trying to stay very stable here through the core. Good job. Good, getting three more. Three, two, and one. Let's go forward and back with those kicks again. You can hold on or just use your core here for some balance work. Be careful. Woo, there we go. So today we're using lots of weights. I think for the others, my other uh, non-repeats or no repeats, we have done body weight, we've done a mix. Go ahead and switch legs. Today, I really want to just pick up those dumbbells and use them the whole time, which reminds me, I have some new merch for the holiday. Speaking of dumbbells, I have some cute stuff about silver bells that is dumbbell. So anyways, just check it out there. It's in the description under the video. There's a couple things. And I, the, I have colored letters that say, this is not a New Year's resolution. So see if you like anything there. Uh, support us there too as well, that would be great. All right, let's go ahead and walk it out. Let's get that chest warm, shoulders all the way out to a high plank. Bring it all the way back in. Up here, I want a back bend, slight back bend. Take it easy there, here we go. Right back out. And in, come up to the top. I like to put the uh, fist in the small pockets of my lower back there. Lower back, there you go, come on up. And another one, oh yeah, get a little deeper each time. Let's walk back that last one. And up, good, slight back bend. All right, let's touch those toes here, drop that bottom between your legs there. Come on up, keeping those fingers on your toes, getting a stretch, you may not go all the way, that's okay, I never go all the way. <laughs> and up, good, that's number two. Let's come down, this time I want you to bring your arms out in front and come up to stand. Good job, let's do that again. Touch those toes, drop, raise, ooh, bottom down, bottom up. Bottoms down, and out in front to stand. Last one, here we go, drop, raise, drop, raise, hopefully you're getting a little further each time. Drop, arms out in front to stand. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and get some knee hugs in here as well. And on this one, if you don't have balance, go up against the wall and use it. But I want you to hug and I want you to get some ankle rolls in here, okay? Back and forth. If you can balance and do this, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just lean up against the wall. All right, other side. Squeeze and hug, rotate that ankle. 
Give it both directions. Couple each, back and forth. All right, let's lunge forward and reach. We're gonna get ready here. We're gonna start down with a side plank. Abduction hold, My one of my favorites, okay? Give me one more reverse lunge. Okay, let's go to our left side here. Everything's a minute. We'll have a lot of 30 second work because we're doing uh, unilateral work. All right, come down, knees bent here. Raise that top leg into a bent knee. Hips are forward. If you're all warmed up and you ran and you're feeling really great, you can kick this leg out if you're there. You could do some lifts if you're there. For me, I'm just getting started on my journey today. So I'm gonna hold. You wanna keep the hips forward, okay? A lot of times they kind of creep back. It makes it a little bit easier. We wanna really push forward to feel those obliques and lift and the hips. All right, halfway. That means we need to switch to the other side. Great job on that one. Here we go, and we're up right into it. Make sure your shoulder is over your elbow. Again, hips are pushed. Not You're not arching back, but they're in line with the head and the feet. And the hips are up as high as you can get them. So push them up, even if it's just a hair, you'll feel it. There you go. Hold here and breathe. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we have a little bit of rest here. 20 seconds to move on. I'm gonna go with, um, ooh, I might even go with fives to start or eights. Let's see if we can do eights. Um, it's a minute long, so we may have to change our weight. We're gonna do a single leg. We're gonna work on balance now with that V raise out in front that I love so much, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. We've been doing a lot of balance work, a lot of uh, unilateral, like just single-sided. We're gonna kind of start that way today and then kind of move into more of your bilateral, like big moves, feet planted, that sort of thing. There you go. We're gonna switch legs here pretty soon, but we're gonna continue with our arms. So if the weight is too much, please go ahead and find your lighter weight. That's halfway. Switch, lift that other foot up. Notice where my leg is, it's not down, it's up. 90 degree bend, oops, talking too much here. 90 degree bend and hold and balance. Oh, one side is always better than the other. There you go. This first part, our first two segments here, and I, my segments are done by uh, the cardio that I've placed in every sixth exercise. Three, two, and one. Rest, great job. Um, they'll progress, okay? Half get up here, so you're gonna want a little bit of weight for your sit up. Um, again, we're gonna try to do most of this stuff weighted. You do not have to add weights on everything. This would be one that you could just do without. You're gonna bend your right knee for me. Right arm in the air, with or without weight. Start without weight. We're gonna use our left forearm. Come up to a sit up. If you're there, you're gonna come up to a, a bridge. And then I want you to come back down. That's all we're doing. All right, come to a full sit up. Bridge, high, lift, come back down. For some of us, just getting up to this point might be enough. Just stay there and come back down. And again, no weight needed, just getting started. Switch left side, left knee up, left weight up. That's how I remember, knee up, arm up, okay? Or knee up, weight up. Make sure also as we're doing this that that weight stays right over the shoulder. We're trying to control this arm and keep the weight over the shoulder. If it's swinging around, the control isn't there, go ahead and either lighten the weight or take it away. Three, two, and one. All right, one leg curl to press now. All right, so again, back to balancing. Uh, let's go, oh sorry, let's just do one weight instead of two today. All right, so we're gonna balance. I'm gonna go opposite the side of the leg that's up, okay? So I'm gonna go same side here. There we go. Actually, yes, let's go. Right here, right arm, right leg's stationary here, or down, sorry. Left leg is up. There you go. And press with some balance. Nice work. Just keep it coming. Again, we're just warming up, don't worry. <laughs> we're gonna get into the, the big stuff later. Let's just warm up and move through here. It's a good bicep curl. If you wanna feel those biceps, make sure to keep that elbow in place. 
Don't raise the arm. Let's switch sides. Here we go. Right leg in the air, left leg down. There you go. That's it. Focus. This is starting out a little mental, <laughs> mental and uh, and a body strong here, right? Brain and body. <laughs> we got it though. We could do this. I know you're probably flipping through your list of things to do today. What do you have to do tomorrow? There you go. Well, let's try to focus right here. Connect that mind and body. All right. Fire hydrants. Yay. I didn't get the bands out today. We'll do it without. I do love to put on a little thin band for this. Let's come down to our hands and our knees. We're gonna head out to the side in that fire hydrant. Remember, this foot should be in line with this knee, so not down, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. Out to the side. Boom, there you go, lift. Right into the hips there, good work. We'll stay 30 seconds here. We're gonna move to the left side. Easing into this. So I would kinda say this is a little bit of our activation, integration, like just a little opener here. Getting ready, getting those muscles pumped up. We'll still go into some uh, single leg stuff a little bit. Here we go, other side in our next segment. All right, this is our fire hydrant, a little bit of core work here. We're gonna go into mountain climbers as our cardio core, all right? Now, those every six exercise will be 40 seconds long because we're gonna bring up the intensity just a bit. We're gonna work a little faster. Those are mostly without weight too. So those, everything else will be weighted where we can. Not always, but that's okay, we're gonna try. Great job, rest. Okay, so back into mountain climbers here. Down the middle, all right? Right here, if you wanna go slower, you can. If you're not there, if you're not warm, don't try to up it. But if you can, we're gonna run it out here for 40 seconds, okay? Then we'll have our rest, we're gonna go right into the next. We're just gonna keep moving this way. All of our rest is 20 seconds today. Three, two, and one, here we go, run it out. If you're there, 40 seconds is a long time. You can play with your tempo. So we could go one, two, three, four, and then tap, two, three, four, and run it. That's one good way to mix up and kind of bring the heart rate up and then bring it back down so you can go the full 40 seconds. There you go. If your wrist hurt, come up onto your knuckles for me. That can help. Sometimes the bouncing of these mountain climbers on my wrist don't feel so, so good, so hot. So. Here we go, keep going. You got it, four seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. All right, we're gonna do a split squat hold now with an L raise. We're gonna work shoulders. Um, and I have a lot of shoulders in this workout today, so be ready for that. Start light here. We're gonna go into our legs with a split squat hold, all right? We're gonna come out into that lateral arm raise with bent elbows. Here we go. Find your split squat. Out to the side, rotate back, forward, in. At 30 seconds, our arms are gonna be like this for a minute. So take your time, control it, don't swing. Work it here. We're gonna switch legs at 30 seconds. All right, my heart rate's coming up. We went from those mountain climbers into our split squat here. Holding, holding. Make sure you're on railroad tracks. See where your feet are, how are mine? <laughs> here we go, halfway. Switch your legs, railroad tracks again, toes forward. Here we go, arms at 90 degrees. Out to the side, rotate back and in. All right, we're already progressing. I'm already starting to feel it. Whew, we can do this today. 50 minutes, more like 40 minutes of work. By the time we warm up and we do our cool down, have a bit of a longer stretch time in there so we can hold and really release. Three, two, and one, all right, this is a tough one. Let's go, I'm gonna go with a 15. Starting to warm up here. You can go 10, we're gonna do a switch press. All right, so one, two, press, okay? So you're gonna have that knee up, switch, sorry, right knee up, switch, press, okay? Here we go. Weight in the right shoulder, right knee up. Let's go slow, left, right, press. Good, left, right, press. Now, if you've got it, you can do a little hop switch there, okay? Reset, hop switch. Do you remember this one? We did this one. I love this one. It's my new favorite. I have a lot of favorites, I know. Here you go. Switch, whoo, a lot of bounce. We're gonna go to the other side here in 30 seconds. 
Whew, that's halfway, good, switch. Take it slow first, left side, left leg up. Switch to the right, switch to the left, press. Good, switch right, left, press. Here we go. If you want, switch, press. Good, reset that weight, switch, press. Good, reset that weight. Woo, there you go. Bring it back down before you switch. You can keep marching it out like I did. It's still balance work. Or you can join me here for the hop. Woo, time. All right, plies. And we're gonna go up on those toes. I'm gonna hold a little weight on this. Woo, this might be a lot. Hold a little weight, we're gonna come down. We're gonna get up on those toes and we're gonna switch side to side here into our calves, okay? If you can hold it there. Three, two, and one, come down on those toes. Right heel down, left heel down. If it's too much to do this for a minute on your toes, simply keep your feet flat, go up on one, and then the other, okay, instead of staying high. I'm gonna try to stay high as long as I can. It may not be the whole time. That's okay. We're gonna do our best today. This weight, you don't need it if you're not there. I'm just trying with each exercise, except for our cardio, to have a little bit of weight on the body. Working it just a bit. We're halfway. Keep it coming, good. That's it, legs are a burden. Lots of holds today, we have some halvesies today. We're gonna push for this no repeat. We always work a little bit harder, push a little bit longer, because we're not doing this one again, so we might as well make the most out of it. There you go, eight seconds, we got this. Right, three, two, and one, whew. Good work, all right, pull over crunch. Very lightweight here, we're talking uh, fives or eights, okay? I'm gonna maybe try eight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our arms over here, we're gonna pull over into a little crunch. See if you can get those shoulder blades up off the mat. If not, drop your weight and try it there. And if you still can't do that, just do the best you can. But we're trying to bring this weight overhead and then come up into a little crunch. No sit up, just a crunch. Good, really getting those shoulder blades up off the floor. There you go. Draw the belly button in, don't push it out. Even though we're exhaling with each crunch, we're halfway. Good work. I know, a minute's a long time. We don't do a lot of minute intervals unless we're doing 30 on each side. So a lot of these are gonna start to add up, but it's one time. If you can just make it through that one minute, we're not doing these again. We're going into our little cardio. Next, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, weights away. Whew. Grab a sip of water if you want. There's no real breaks other than our 20 seconds. So keep your water nearby. All right, high knees are coming up. Remember, you can always march it. If running's not for you, and that bouncing, just march. Three, two, and one. This is 40 seconds, okay? Not a minute, 40 seconds. Again, play with it. Maybe you want a high march, but you're like, gosh, I can't, I need it. I can't do that for 40 seconds. So do it for four to eight counts, and then march. Give yourself that break, and then bring it back up again. All right, you're doing more than you would if you just decided that, I just can't do it all, so I'm just not going to. I'm gonna stay here, okay? Mix it up, mix it up, good. You can move around too in your spot. You can go side to side, we're halfway already. Side to side, play with it, have some fun with it. Good, 20 seconds. Keep lifting, keep lifting, move those arms. You have to pump those arms. They help drive in the legs. There you go, eight seconds. Come on, lift, lift. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, grab a sip. 20 seconds. Loop bridge with triceps. Extension. I'm gonna go for tens. I don't think I usually tell you what kind of weight I'm using at the time. I'm trying to be better about that so you kind of have an idea. If you're just getting started, all right, go ahead and bridge up with the hips. We're gonna find that skull crusher. Extending just at the elbows here. 
All right, a little tricep extension. Hips up. Now, if that bothers you to have those hips up, come down, just work your tricep extension, get that first. Elbows stay in place, extending the forearm only. Squeeze the back of those arms. There you go. So I'm trying to let you know what weight I'm using on each one. I'll try to remember. That way you don't pick up anything too heavy. And remember, if you're just getting started, you wanna probably start five to 10 pounds lighter than what I'm doing. Always test yourself with light weight and then kind of gradually add. Don't just go for that heavy weight. It's a good way to get hurt. All right, front squats. We're gonna go with the weight out in front, holding it. Ooh, it's a minute long. I'm gonna try my 20s, we'll see how that goes. All right, we might want 15s or 10s. Holding it out here in front, we're gonna squat up and down, a little front squat. Lots of core strength here, so draw the navel in and up. Just underneath, underneath the navel, you're pulling in and up. All right, just to hold this weight here in front to protect our back. That's why you wanna start light. All right, if it's too heavy and we're not able to brace our core and draw in here, we might risk injuring ourselves. So start, start light. We are halfway, folks. We are halfway. Woo, these minutes are challenging today, but we can get through it. One time for each exercise. We will see variations of our chest press row and squats, but they will not be exactly the same, okay? Similar, but not the same. There you go. Woo, that's it, come on. Get through it. Three, two, and one, rest, good job. All right, we're gonna get out of that. We're gonna isolate a little bit onto the biceps. I'm gonna try tens on this. We're gonna do a hold here, 90 degrees, if you remember. If you've been following this series, we did it not too long ago. Curl, here we go. Left is holding isometrically here, about 90 degrees. Let's go right curl for one. Two, find your hold, left curl for one, two, find your right curl, one, two, good, and left, one, let's go all the way up for two, then reset, good, right, all the way up, down, all the way up, then find your 90, there you go, left, all the way up, we're halfway, all the way up, find your 90, all right, great job, that's it, Woo. That's it, we're burning up. I know, you're gonna feel this when it comes to our rows later. I wanted to make sure that we get a lot out of that just because we may not have our heavier weight. We're moving one time through all of this, kind of spread out. So we're gonna pump up these arms first. And that way we can finish kind of big and strong, feel this workout. Three, two, and one, nice work, woo! We're gonna squat and do an Arnold press. I think I'm gonna stick with my tens, okay? We're gonna do one at a time. So it's kind of like that front squat, and then we're gonna come up and rotate that arm out, back to the front, rotate out overhead. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So this is the way that I sneak in another front squat when we're not doing two, two reps, but adding this little press makes it a different exercise. All right. Yes, I do think about these things. These are probably one of the harder ones for me to write sometimes. They're easy in terms of, I typically just pull our exercises from our last four weeks or so, maybe four to six weeks. We're halfway. But what I find about this is that there's so many different ways to stack this and work through it. So I do sometimes overthink it. There we go, hand down and press. Now, if your weights are too light and you're not starting to feel this build, build, you can go with a double and back down. And double, reset, squat, double, reset. Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. All right, weighted froggers. I'm gonna use my 10 on this. Froggers are a sit up that we do, that I do. This is what I call it, arms out, legs out and you come all the way in, pulling the legs in and the arms. I'm gonna use a little weight and pull it over. Here we go, three, two, and one. Bring it in. That's it, nice work. 
and pull in. Nice work. We're gonna go back and hit an exercise here in just a second. I got a little out of order. So we'll go back and hit it. That's halfway, keep working for me. Now, if you have lower back pain here, please make sure you're drawing that navel in and up really tight. If you still feel it, maybe we just do a curl up instead. If that's still a problem, just go here with straight leg crunches, okay? Go with a crunch. Don't sacrifice that lower back. Three, two, and one. Great job. Grab a quick sip of water. We're not quite to our uh, cardio. I skipped one on the last one. We're gonna go into a single leg RDL. A little bit more single leg work. So grab some weight. We'll switch halfway through. And then we'll get to our cardio here. So here we go. We're just gonna come forward, lift that leg into that RDL. Now, that's not for everyone. That's, that's kind of a tough one. You don't need to use the weight if you're just getting started. Work your balance. Maybe put a chair in front of you. Touch down the chair. We can hinge here too with a kickstand. All right, we can go right here into one. You wanna have a neutral spine, so don't pick up the weights until we can keep that flat back. We wanna be able to keep those ears, ears, <laughs> we wanna keep those shoulders away from our ears, okay? Switch sides, team, switch sides. There you go. You got it, find your balance. Told you there'd be a lot of balance work. <laughs> we are on those one legs. We're going back to them for just a second here. I don't wanna skip this important one that I love. Getting those glutes and hamstrings here, those hips also working to stabilize. It's good strength move, good core move. Three. Two and one. Another good modification to that one is just to work on your warrior three hold. And once you have that hold, then you can go into that movement or just find your kickstand with the foot down. All right, here's our cardio. We're gonna do two upper punches, upper cuts. One, two, come down low. One, two, punch, okay? Here we go. Upper, upper, down, punch, punch. Upper, upper, one, two. Upper, upper, one, two. If you're there with me, we can add a tuck jump. So upper, upper, one, two. Okay, tuck jump. Upper, upper, one, two, tuck. I'll let you go at your pace. You do not have to add the tuck jump, okay? I'm adding it in to get my heart rate. I'm sorry, upper and then punch low. Good, upper, punch low. Good, upper, punch low. Upper, punch low. Upper, punch low. With or without the tuck jump. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, 17 seconds here. Whew. Palms in row, here we go. Really starting to get into the big stuff. Palms in, bent over row, grab your weights. Three, two, and one. Remember, it's one minute, so the way we'll work this we're gonna go with two, three, four, five, and then I want you to come out of that bent over stance there. Let that back release, come back down, squeeze those glutes. One, two, with control, lower with control. Three, four, five, come up, release. Good, bring it back down, one, Two, three, look how slow I'm going. Four, we're controlling this way. Five, come up, Whew. back down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, rest. Okay, okay. We're gonna push our hips back towards that back wall, shoulders down away. This is a full minute of RDL. Here we go. Over into tabletop, back up, all right? So flat back, you should be able to place a bottle, a glass of water on your back there, if you can see that, okay? Neutral spine, no tucking, push back. You have to soften your knees. 
It's not stiff like necessarily. I don't want you to lock out. You've got to soften as you push back, but we're not squatting down like we do our deadlift. In a deadlift, we come down and we bend into it a little bit. We drop our hips just above the knees. Here, we're gonna push straight back. All right, we're already halfway. Good job. Squeeze those glutes. Come over into tabletop. Squeeze your glutes. Press through the heels to stand. Stand tall. One thing you don't wanna do is arch when we come up to the top. We're coming straight up, head towards the ceiling, pushing through the heels. Good. Squeeze, nice work. Eight seconds here. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go into another row, but this time palms out. So I'm gonna pick up some much lighter weight for me. Maybe 15s, maybe 10s. This is tough for me. We're gonna come over, we're gonna go wide with it instead of palms in, okay? You can even take it in maybe 40 degrees, 45 degrees here on your row, which is probably what I'll do. We're gonna be bent over again. So if you start to feel that lower back come into play here, I'll tell you our halfway. Why don't you position yourself here for a supported row and I'll tell you when to switch arms. That way you don't you can take that core out just a little bit and protect that lower back. Because it is hard to keep holding ourselves here. We will come out of it next with a reverse lunge. There we go. Control it, okay? Row, squeeze for a second. Lower with control. Don't throw the weight around. We're halfway. If you need to come out of it like we did last time, we can do that. Here we go. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. You can stand and release if you want. Come back down. One, two, three, four, five. Stand. Good. And another. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're going into reverse lunge now. I'm going to keep my 15s. You can do body weight if you want, stepping back into a reverse lunge. I want you to reach just a bit. Instead of coming straight up and down and making it quad dominant, I do want you to come back and hinge, push back just a bit to get glute hamstring. Here we go. Exercise number 21. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Reverse lunge. Great job, keep it working, keep, keep coming. That's it, that's it. Step it out, control it. Just go, we're halfway, halfway. Just stay with it. You're doing great. That's it. Make sure you've, whew, that if you can't get your knee down all the way, that's okay. You could put your weight down and then uh, work on just the range, okay? All right, we have leg lowers. I'm gonna hold some weight overhead. You don't have to, leg lowers are tough. You have to be able to hold that lower back firm to the floor. So if you're not quite there, I'm gonna have you come down singles or I'm gonna have you come up and down with a bent knee here, okay? So those are your two options. Otherwise, we're gonna take this up and lower, good. That's it. Holding that weight over the chest, drawing that navel in towards the spine. Really hold it, really pull it down towards the floor. Hurt your spine. Good. Now, if you feel that arch, Okay, if you feel space there, we're halfway. I want those single legs from the top. See if you can control it there. If that's still too much, come down heel and in. Heel and in. All right, good work. And that might change. You might start here and get tired. Maybe you just re uh, reduce your range of motion. So maybe we stop about right here, drawing in and coming up instead of all the way. Three. Two and one, good job. All right. All right, four, uh, 20 seconds, we have our 40 second um, little cardio piece. We're gonna punch and do jumping jacks. 
like just with our feet. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, okay? Here we go, let's punch it out. One, two, three, four, out, out. One, two, three, four, one, two, good. One, two, three, four, that's it. One, two, three, four, let's speed it up. I'm not gonna count now, go your pace. About four to two here on this. Good, one, two, three, four. That's it, a little quicker, you got it. It's only 40 seconds of work. That's it, come on. Good. One, two, three, four. Yes, you got it, you got it, good job. I put a little bit of our kickboxing from the last few weeks in here. All right, rest, nice work. 20 seconds, moving on to our last part. All right, we have our palms in chest press. We're gonna go uh, split squats, so lots of quad and chest. I'm gonna go with my 20s and my palms in from the floor. Last round here, six exercises to go. Three, two, and one, here we go. Press it out, palms in, elbows in. That's it. Even though we're supported by the floor, I want you to think about a little bit of a tuck here, a little bit of drawing the belly button in, nice and firm, feet are firm against the floor. We're good and sturdy here, stable. We're not wobbling. Sometimes I see everyone moving around their lower half as they press with their chest. You wanna stabilize that portion of the body. We're halfway. If it gets to be too much with the weight you have, go into single arm press and give one arm a rest, okay? So you could go one, from the four, two, okay, right here, singles. There you go. If it's too easy, keep with the two dumbbells and maybe slow it down when you come down with the weight a little bit, okay? Work that eccentric lowering phase there. And time, nice work, woo! Split squat with a pass through, so find some weight. Uh, I feel like I went pretty light on this before, I'm gonna try a 15. So we're gonna go with that split squat down and pass over the leg and through. Three, two, and one. We'll switch sides at 30 seconds. Here you go. Up and over. Nice job. We'll get the other side. This forces you to get low. Check your form. A lot of times when I have people do a figure eight or pass through, they tend to round their body or bend over to get the weight there versus bending at the knees. You wanna bend and come down to get the weight there. If it's too much, put your weight down, work your split squats with good form at a level or at a range that you can do. Here we go, other side. Good, that's it. So you wanna keep that chest up. You wanna bend at the knees again. If we're not able to do that and we're hunched, put the weight down, work where you can, keep good form. You're on those railroad tracks. Three, two, and one, rest, good job. Palms out, chest press this time, okay? I'm gonna go with my 20s again. So we went palms in, elbows in, a little bit more tricep, a little bit harder. Now we're gonna go wide, hopefully it's a little easier and you can still use the same weight. Three, two, and one. Here we go, press it out. Control it on the lowering and push, there you go. That's it. Press, good. Exhale. You can push in one to two counts, powerful, but lower with control. Nice, good, lowering, slow, maybe three to four counts. We're halfway, keep working. If it's becoming too tough and you've met, you've met your max there, just go ahead and go to singles again, okay? So single, single, or change them, switch out your weights for something lighter that you can keep going with. I want you to work the full minute. If the weights are still too much, maybe you go to a wall and you do some push-ups off the wall, nice and high, just pushing in still, working the chest muscles. Three, two, and one. Ooh, starting to feel that one. All right, one and a half squats here. I want some good weight. Um, I think I'm gonna try my 220s. Oh no, 
Yeah, I am. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go half, partial to full, okay? Partial to full. Three, two, and one. And I might have to change up my weights, so, but halfway to full, okay? And you can use one dumbbell here. You don't have to have two. I'm just trying to get the weight that I need. You could go right here if you have that weight, all right? Good, half to full. That's it, good, control it. Don't bounce too much on this one. Slow and controlled. Feel it out. Oh, there you go, there you go, come on. We're halfway. Halfway, keep that chest up. It's not, we've already gone through our RDLs, okay? So go ahead here. That's it, keep it coming. We did our glute hamstrings. You're gonna feel your bottom here a little bit because it's been worked, but make sure we're chest up. All right, there you go. Rotational chops. With weight or without, start without. Interlace your fingers. Rotate that outside knee and toe to follow the belly button. Reset. Chop, reset. So the power is down. You're just resetting here. If you can use weight, we're gonna go right hand on top, left on bottom, here we go. Chop over, bring it up, reset, chop. That's it. Outside toe there. Following the belly button, we're gonna rotate. We'll have 30 seconds on each side. Notice my right hand is on top, my left is on bottom to chop towards my left hip. Okay, starting at the right side here. That keeps that left arm out of my face, okay? Try it the other way, it feels weird. Here we go. Left hand on top, right on bottom. Start at the left shoulder, chop towards the right hip. There you go. Good, now we're resetting here, we're swinging. We stop it by drawing and embracing. You have to brace to stop that weight. Bring it up, there you go. If you're not sure what drawing and embracing is, always comment, let me know, send me a message. Good, reset, down, three, Two and one, rest. Gosh, last one, hard to believe. I feel like we must have skipped a whole segment that went so fast. <laughs> I mean, how does that go so fast? All right, we have squat jumps, okay? 40 seconds, jumping. If jumping's not for you, squat, go on those toes. It's always a great option. Or just do your body squats, air squats. Here we go, 40 seconds. I'm gonna do some turning side to side just to mix it up. You do you, modify, find your challenge. We're almost there today. Whoo, this is the last one. Great job, it's 30 exercises. I hope I didn't miss any. Whoo, here we go. You got it, come on. Seven seconds, we're there, nice work, come on. Three, two, and one, cool down. We got a little bit longer cool down, just a couple minutes. Grab a sip of water, high five. I hope you enjoyed that workout, no repeats. Had a little bit more rest in there, but I wanted to make sure our transitions were smooth. You can always opt to grab your weight and get going if I'm quick enough to tell you that, or you know the exercises. All right. I'm wondering if I missed anything today or if I got it all. <laughs> 30 exercises to keep track of. I hope we got it. If not, one exercise isn't gonna hurt us. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and breathe, catch our breath, cool down a bit. I want you to inhale. We're gonna practice that drawing and embracing that I always talk about. So I want you to breathe in through your nose. I want the belly to fill and rise. And then I want the chest. And then we're gonna blow that air out. And when we do, I want you to draw the belly button in, okay? and blow the air out. You'll feel the rib cage kind of push against your sides. You'll feel everything kind of crinkle in tight here. Here we go. Big breath. Exhale. Feel it, hold it. Now I want you to hold that position. And I want you to say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, were you able to keep it? All right, let's try it again. In and out. Hold it. While you're breathing, you should be able to breathe and talk 
and still maintain this bracing, okay? And the drawing in. Are you talking? Can you sing? Can you move and still feel it all nice and tight? That's what you need to practice, okay? Last one, in and out and hold. Good, keep it there. You got it, feel it. All right, good practice. All right, let's go ahead and bring that left arm. We have the left shoulder, cross the body here, hold shoulders down. Nice work. We're gonna get down to the floor today. We're gonna really stretch our hips, maybe our adductors, get some of those muscles, calves, things that we just don't have time to get to typically um, as we kind of rush through these uh, cool downs. So I hope you can stay with me. Always spend a little extra time on your stretching. Try to find an, a day of stretching, more stretching, maybe yoga, something that you can do, okay? Uh, it's very important. Um, as we start to strength train, we do get a little tighter, okay? We're building muscle. It, it does happen. We get sore, you know, things get tight. So make sure that you're fitting that in as well. Let's go ahead and reach behind for that chest. Interlace those fingers. Grab a towel out here if you need to, to get some, give you some space there if interlacing your fingers is too tough. If it is, we need to talk about doing some foam rolling and more stretching there as well. You wanna be able to do this. You might even wanna be able to wrap those arms around and get there. I don't practice this enough, but those little things when you're stretching, you're like, oh, I can't do that. Th those, are, those are good <laughs> cues that we we'll probably need to work that out a little bit, all right? You don't wanna just keep getting tired. Let's grab that left wrist, reach really high for me. I want you to get as tall as you can. I want you to pull that arm over to the side. Let the hips flare left. Give me a good side bend here, breathe. I like to lay my head here on my arm. Now make sure, sometimes we kinda rotate forward out of that stretch. Try to stay with the shoulders stacked. It's hard to do. Find your breath. If you can't find your breath, my yoga instructor always says to come out a little bit and then find it there. And that's a good stretch as well. You wanna be able to breathe through your stretch. Otherwise you're not gonna get much of a stretch holding your breath. Things are not gonna wanna relax for you. Woo, good, come up to the top, grab that right wrist, over to the, let the hips go right, pull left. Ooh, this one's tighter, I wanna rotate. Automatically wanna go forward. I'm gonna pull here, try to stay stacked with my shoulders, rest my head on my arm here, find a good breath. Good, we're gonna go into an IT band stretch, another important one that we don't do probably often enough. Bring your right foot over your left. All right, right foot over your left. I want your hips to flare right. I want you to slide left. Don't go too far. Just until you feel it, where you can keep your balance and you can breathe. I'm excited to have a couple extra minutes here with you uh, stretching. Maybe on these longer days, we add that in maybe a couple times during the week as well. Let's go over, left over right now. Hips flare left, slide right. I hope you enjoyed this workout. It wasn't super high cardio, I don't know, for me, maybe for you, let me know if you thought that you felt like your heart rate got up enough. It was a lot of strength and dumbbell work, not a lot of, oh well, we had balance, we had, um, a lot of single unilateral work, core work. There you go. Whew. Back up, nice work. Let's come down to the floor now, okay? I wanna do a Z-sit. Let's get into that Z-sit. We'll go into a pigeon as well, or you'll stay in your Z-sit. Heel to knee, 90 degrees here, so my foot is not at my thigh. My heel's at my knee. We're gonna sit tall. We're gonna walk out over this knee, flat back, Get that stretch. Good. If you're there, follow me. We're gonna kick that leg back into our pigeon. Now, my knee and leg do not stay at 90 degrees, but I would try to keep it there. You can let it fall in a little bit. There you go, let's just hold. Good, let's switch sides, nice work. Heel to knee, sit tall, there you go. Walk diagonally from that knee. So not in here, not to the side. I want you straight out from that knee to feel that stretch. Straight back, sit tall. As 
long as you can keep that straight back, you can walk out a little further. Woo. Good, we're gonna kick that back leg back if you're there, otherwise stay in that Z sit. I'm gonna try to push this foot out and hold it into more of a 90, but you can drop it in and relax into the stretch if you want. Breathe. That's the end of our stretch by Tiber's. Tell me, how's that possible? That didn't feel long enough. We held these stretches a little longer, which felt good. Let's go ahead, just real quick, feet wide. Let's get the adductors to inner thighs. Either touch those shins or toes. I'm gonna keep you here for at least a few more seconds, just getting the stretch. So sorry, I could stay here another 15, 20. <laughs> we kind of need it, don't we? All right, thank you again, though. While we're here, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your support. Um, please remember to pass this along. Uh, your comments, your likes, your subscribes all really help us keep this going. Um, and, and we really appreciate you. Keep, keep it coming, let us know. I, I know I, I have a few of you that don't really enjoy laying down for core. I hope I'm giving you enough standing core as well um, and that you're finding your alternatives. I know a lot of us like low impact. I hope that I'm also giving you enough variations there that you don't feel like it's not something you can do. So um, I'll continue to try to uh, pull some of these low impact steady states and things that you need, but um, hopefully I'm offering you enough variety that you're able to do it. So let me know. Um, I'm here to, to make this work for you. All right, great job. I will see you next time. Thank you again for joining me for this longer, no repeats workout. Bye-bye.